Hello and welcome. This is Eagle Eye 621 and what you see behind me is a fast and efficient way to find Endermen in the overworld. Now this is my second design. There will be a link to the first one in an iCard in the top right hand corner of your screen as well as a link in the description below. Uh, do note that the first one is a little bit more efficient in terms of finding Endermen faster once it's set up but this one is faster to set up, so you can take your pick. And the reason that you need something like this is even though Endermen can only be farmed efficiently in the end, in any real sense, in order to get to the end, you need to have found and killed enough Endermen in order to have gotten sufficient Ender Pearls to make enough Eyes of Ender to find the Stronghold and open up the Gateway. I'll take you through this, but first take a note of where we are. Now you do want to find a relatively flat, long stretch of ground that does not have many trees blocking the way or other major terrain features. So we'll start here at the bottom with a little bit of a safe room. Now obviously this does not need to be made out of glass. I'm just doing this so it's easier to see. And I like using these fence gates because zombies cannot knock them down like they can doors. They're relatively easy to get in and out of. Down here we do have a bed so we can set our spawn point and also sleep to make sure we don't get bothered by the phantoms. And just as a quick tip, you jump into bed and leave even before you're done sleeping that will reset the phantom counter. As well as some gear so that... In case anything does happen, we can take another set and go rescue our stuff. And this is a relatively safe design, but things do happen. And we do have a landing zone for a quick little drop chute, as well as a simple water elevator to get up to the main floor. And then a trap door so that I don't fall down into the safe room like I did in the last video. Now there is a roof here, again this doesn't have to be glass, and this is the third block up. The reason that you do that is Endermen are three blocks tall, so with a block right here, the Endermen can't get to you, and you will notice in our safe room, this is also has a block on the third one up, so the Endermen can't teleport in. And this area is lit so that mobs won't spawn here and bother you. Now up here we have a setup and this setup is important. You need to have a non-powered rail. And then under this is a powered rail that is not powered so that when you have a block and a button on it this will power the rail and send your minecart flying. These rails don't all have to be powered, but you do want to maintain maximum velocity to get the best rates out of this farm. Now these boats here are also optional. As pointed out in one of the comments in the last video, Endermen will get trapped in these boats, which will make them just a little bit easier for you to kill. Now the way this farm works is to try and refresh the mob cap as much as possible. So in your world, there can be 70 hostile mobs at a time. The problem with finding Endermen in the overworld is that they spawn relatively rarely. And while you're walking around your main world, they could be behind trees, they could be in caves underground, and these other mobs that are spawning are going to try to kill you. So while you're trying to find the rare mob which is hiding, you're also fighting to not die and lose all your stuff. So what we have here is a little platform for the rails, and this just needs to be any solid block. And then three blocks up again, we do have a little bit of a roof, and that's because Endermen can teleport up to you. You don't strictly need this if you want to keep your sword in your hand, but it is a little bit safer. And then the way this works is we jump in the minecart, and you may want to test where you're going to end up when you get out of the minecart. You'll always land in the same spot. You just want to make sure that you are safely under your roof. So we get in. We should change over into survival mode. 
or this won't work, and we launch. And what we're doing is looking for Enderman, and if we spot an Enderman, we're going to stare at it so it will follow us. Now, as I was saying, that the way this farm works is by trying to refresh the hostile mob cap as frequently as possible. There's one, and it is angry, so it will follow us, and we keep looking for friends of his, and we ignore him for now. And another one. There we go. Now, because we're traveling through the world, as we travel, the mobs that are further away from us will despawn, and new mobs will be forming all around us. Now, that doesn't change the odds of an Enderman spawning, but the more Ender more mobs in general that spawn, the more likely it is that one of them is going to be an Enderman. Now, we keep looking, and we're not really paying attention to the Endermen that we found, but we want to keep a general note that there are three or four of them that should be chasing us under this rail as we spot another one. Now, if it's not within 64 blocks, it won't get mad when you look at it. Don't get out of the minecart. It's not worth it, especially when you have them angry at you already. And just keep looking. As we approach our safety zone, we'll come to a stop in that center square because this rail is unpowered. And as we look around, we may even hear the Endermen and see some of them start to teleport to us. And we already have one of the Endermen in the boat, and they brought some presents with us. We have another one, and we're going to get out and see if there's... Yep, number four is hiding right down there. That's okay for now. We can keep walking around, and eventually the other one will find his way into a boat, or we can just kill it even without it being in the boat. And it looks like we have all four trapped. Now, you do want to make sure that you are using a sword that has looting. Sharpness just makes it faster because you deal more damage, but the looting actually increases your chance of getting ender pearls. Without looting, you have a 0 to 1 ender pearl per enderman. With looting 3, it's 0 to 4 per enderman. So it does a lot. And because they're trapped in a boat, they can't get away. Even if not, because we're under here, they couldn't hurt us. And just swipe and swipe and continue to swipe all four. And then we see how many ender pearls we got. And just from that first run, it looks like we got four ender pearls and some bonus sand that we didn't have to dig. And then it again. Now, nothing has been done underground. There are no caves that are lit up. This would be the same thing you would see if you were walking through an area where you hadn't bothered to prepare it in any way. And it's kind of the point, because the less prep work you do, the easier and faster this is to set up. You do want to make sure that your rail line is at least 100 blocks long so that because we're 20 blocks in the air, that every spot will eventually make sure the mobs will despawn, but the further, the better. Now, mobs will despawn even within the 128 block range, but they instantly despawn if they're more than 128 blocks. So, as you're looking around, you can also try and think what it'd be like just walking through the world looking for the Enderman being attacked by all of these creatures and trying to not lose all your items. Just keep looking, and sometimes you can even hear them teleporting around. Look at them. Never get out of the minecart, even if they don't get angry for whatever reason. They might be too far away, even though they don't look like they were too far away. Uh, or it might take the game a second to have them realize that they are angry at you. And... We are going to get out this time because I did see one and it did sound like. And there he is. Teleporting all around. And trapped in a boat. Perfect. And only one additional Ender Pearl. 
The looting three does not guarantee anything, but it does increase your chances of getting more. And then again, we go back and forth and see what else we can find. Now this type of system is not really optimized to find other rare mobs. The other design where you do stay in one location, you just travel up and down instead of back and forth. That would be a more ideal type design if you want to use it to find anything else. For example, if you wanted to try and find some slimes in a swamp or some mob with better armor. Uh, keep looking. And I think we'll have another chance at that one. It didn't. Oh, I did hear teleport, so maybe it is mad at me now as we look around. And they will follow you. Nope. Too far away. Keep looking. And you get to ride back and forth in relative safety. Now I do have the game mode locked to night just to make this demonstration a little bit easier. Uh, but you should have time to make a number of runs even when your world is ticking normally. And if you've gone the full back and forth and you didn't see any Enderman, you don't even have to bother getting out. You just hit the button and back you go. Now even if you did aggro an Enderman and they've been chasing you, as long as you don't get very unlucky and have them teleport up to the boat right as you press that button, they will just keep following you back and forth they will stay within range and you don't have to worry about them despawning because they'll just be jumping back and forth underneath. And sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't. Just keep traveling and keep looking and do not get out of the minecart. Now in terms of a setup there's just a solid block right at the end and that will automatically bounce you back if there's a powered rail that leads into that solid block. So we don't need to get out at that end. We just go back and forth and see if we can spot that guy who is hopefully running after us. And we can see by checking, and it does appear that the Enderman is teleporting after us, and I can't get a great view because the glass is blocking. But that's okay. Hopefully, we see them. And there he is. And it looks like he also has a little present for us. And we're not going to chase him, we're going to wait for him to come up to us, which he did. And a couple more ender pearls and a nice little present. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, if you've found this video helpful, I would appreciate a like. And for more like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for stopping by.